Now, state investigators are trying to figure out how this happened. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Anken. Thanks for joining us for News 6 at 7. We first broke this story yesterday on the morning news after the accident happened Thursday night just after 11 at the Orlando Freefall. A 14-year-old fell from his seat as the ride came down and died. The sheriff's office has identified that young man as Tyree Sampson from Missouri. Friends and family of the 8th grader describe him as humble and gentle with a bright future ahead of him. We're told Sampson was visiting Orlando with another family while on spring break, riding the free fall attraction Thursday night with his best friend. Now the family says they're hiring lawyers to find out if they should take legal action. News 6's Carolina Cardona is at Icon Park tonight with more on this. The family of the teen is being represented by attorneys Ben Crump and Brian Hilliard. Since the night of the death, the rides at Icon Park the slingshot ride and the free fall ride have been closed. Today, we did see the Sky Flyer is back operating. Earlier today, we spoke with a witness from that night who tells us he and his girlfriend have been having a hard time sleeping in the aftermath of that tragic night. Just seeing that replaying over and over my head, like it's really rough. It's been a rough last couple of days for 20 year old Montre Williams. He recalled Thursday night when 14 year old Tyree Sampson lost his life after somehow falling out of his seat from the icon free fall ride. My first reaction, like it felt like a dream. Like, I didn't think it was real until like I actually walked up to him. Montre says he was with his girlfriend standing in front of the ride as they watched guests get on. Nobody walked around to see if everybody was securely, you know, locked in. Moments later, as the ride came back down, the next image he says he saw was the teen lying face down on the ground. He called me, he said, mom, 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 in frantic, so my heart is racing. And I said, what's wrong, what's wrong? He said, Somebody just fell from off the ride. Montre's mom says her son took pictures moments after the fall, but Montre tells us he decided not to post the images on social media. When it comes to something like that, you want to protect the family in any way you can. So I salute him for that because he, he saw a lot. A lot of respect for his family and also him. Both mom and son say they believe Tyree's death could have been prevented. I feel like all it takes is an extra second for someone to do an extra check, an extra tug, or just asking someone, how do you feel? The company that operates this ride says workers are responsible for checking lights on the restraint system to ensure they are properly secured. The ride will not ascent unless those harnesses are locked in. And, you know, again, so there were no indications that there was anything different. As of right now, the cause of death has not been determined. Orange County Sheriff's Office, as well as the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services, are investigating this case. No criminal charges have been filed as of this time. In Orlando, I'm Carolina Cardona getting results to News 6.